Welcome back to Heroes Next Door. Today we are doing station rigs. We are in Chester County, PA with Minkwiss Fire Company. This is their 1994 Spartan Salisbury Pumper. Minkwiss Fire Company is part of the Downingtown Fire Department. They are the engine company for the department. And this is one of their one of two engines that they have. Let's take a look. This is a 1994 engine. What's nice about this truck is that it is all manual driven, even to the point to where getting it into pump gear, all you have to do is flip down the PTO into neutral, take it out of drive, put it into pump gear, and put it back into gear. What's nice about that is you don't have to worry about all those electronics going bad, even to the point to where flipping on the batteries, you flip two switches and push the start. There's not even a key. Sitting in the driver's seat, I notice a lot of equipment up here for them to take care of. First and foremost, this big old pole. This is a light that goes up above for your scene light. They have a computer system here that tells them where their dispatch, where the roads are. This is a computer-aided dispatch. Up front, they have two different radio systems. One, their company radio system. The other one is going to be for the county. So they have a way to communicate. If one goes down, they have another way. I also noticed that they have the headsets. These headsets are awesome. Not only do they protect your hearing, but now you can talk to each other from front to back without having to scream over the engine. So coming out of the driver's seat, before we get into the crew cab, do us a favor, hit that subscribe, hit that notification, it really helps us out. Let's take a look at what's inside. We're coming into the crew area. This is where they have four seats available. Here they have air packs available for them. They have their headsets they can talk. They have their radios. Very comfortable, easy way to get in, get your gear on, get ready for the call. What makes this cab unique is this is one of 25 in the country at the time to have a mid-mount panel with a cover over it. It's very unique because you are able to see both sides and you're protected from the elements. And if, God forbid, something goes wrong and a hose blows, you're very safe up here. So here at Minkwiss Fire Company, you have to have pumps one and two to be an engineer. But looking at this pump panel, it's very easy. You have your controls to start, your throttle up, throttle down, your prime. Right here is your intake pressures and your pump pressure. So it's very easy to see. And what I really like the way Spartan did this is they color coordinated all their hose lines, coming off the side, coming off the back, and even the front trash line. Each one has their own gauge, so you know exactly what pressures you're putting to the nozzle. And over here is where they do their fill. You know how full your tank is, you know what's coming in, you know what's circulating around, and what's coming in from other trucks or from a hydrant. Now we're coming out of the crew cab, and I want to take just a minute and talk about this. This is the pump that's in here. This is a 2,000 gallon per minute pump, and it carries 750 gallons of water on the engine. So if you run out of that 750 gallons of water that's already on the truck, this is where they have three intakes. They have one on each side and one up the front. You're gonna hook up to your hydrant, go from here, crank open your valves, and get the water you need. On top of that, they have a couple of outlays. This is where you're gonna hook up your hoses. But what's cool about this is they have four pre-connected all ready to go. So these are side lays, they have four of them. You can take it out either side and get right to work. Start with that 750 gallons, but go ahead and hook up to the pump. This is where it's being done. So when you're done with the job, you gotta make sure that you drain all your hoses. If you put those hoses away wet, they're gonna rot quicker, or if there's any water in it and it's cold like it is today, it's gonna freeze. So down here are all the drains for all your hose lines. So the first cabinet behind the driver's side is gonna be the engineer's compartment. This is where the engineer has access to all the different connections. It has the spanner wrenches, it has different couplers, male, female, has different size hoses. So if you're working with another company or you need to extend your hoses, this is the place you're gonna go. What's also nice about this is they have different nozzles. So if you want a straight stream where you're gonna to have to do a fog nozzle, they can switch nozzles right here. Up on top, they have a RIT pack, so you can run this truck as RIT. RIT stands for Rapid Intervention Team. They're ready to go. They have a two to one mechanical advantage bag, so if you need to do a pull, it's all set and ready to go. As I did my initial walk around, the one thing I noticed that Minkwiss does very well for their volunteers is they label everything very clearly. So whether you're new or whether you're old and you don't remember where things are going, they label it very, very nicely here. So take a look at this cabinet. This is where all their tools are. You're gonna have your gas meters, you're gonna have a repair kit, you're gonna have even their sprinkler kit. So if a sprinkler goes bad or you need to chalk one of those off, it's up here. Everything's right here, very clearly labeled. So whether I'm new, whether I'm old, I know where things are. So before I move on to our last cabinet on the driver's side, I wanna talk a little bit about their emergency kits. They have an AED and a first in bag. So whether you're EMT or a paramedic and you want to volunteer, this truck will accommodate that. Sometimes the engines are on scene first. They're gonna help out with those cardiac arrests, those severe calls, and they have the ability to do that. Let's open the last and final cabinet on the driver's side. And here we find some fire extinguishers. They carry a couple different tiles. They have an ABC, water, and chemical fire extinguishers. Up on top, they have their chimney kit. They have some extra ropes. 
They also have ladder belts, and you're thinking, what does it need a ladder belt? It's an engine. We don't see any ladders on this. Even though this is an engine, they do carry a couple ladders, but they keep safety in mind. They want to make sure they're real safe. The other thing is they carry a couple more connectors. So if you need more engines hooked up to a hydrant, this is where you're going to get them. Coming around to the back side of the pumper, this is where a lot of the business takes place. They have a pre-connected Humat valve that goes directly to your hydrant, and then it either goes to my engine and supplies my water line, or it can go to another truck to boost my pressure and head right back in. This is awesome to have, very cool. Right behind this though is a cabinet where they store their generator. The generator is used to supply all their lights. So they have a couple of pop-up lights for their scene lights, but if you need to run lights inside and all your hose reels, maybe your fan, this is the generator that's gonna do that. It has plenty of power to supply not only the lights on this truck, but if I need to supply lights inside of a scene, it can supply that. What's next to their generator is a pre-connected blitz fire. This is for those defense type tactics. So if you got a barn fire or you got a building that you can no longer fight inside, we're gonna take off our blitz fire and fight as a defensive. Up top here, they have a lot of pre-connected hoses. This is an inch and three quarter, so that's a primary line going into a building. You have your five inch supply line coming from the hydrant to the truck. So up here in the other two cabinets, we have a couple of ladders and you have a hard sleeve for any kind of drafting you may have to do. Coming around the back side, now on the passenger side, this is the rear compartment. And this is where they store many of their working tools, part that's gonna do the job. They have their axes, they have their pipe poles, they have their halogen tools, but they also have their air ejectors. We talked about that generator before. They need to hook that up. This is where it's gonna be stored. On top of here, I noticed they have some salvage tarps. People wonder what a salvage tarp is. That salvage tarp is to protect your investments, whether it's your office building or your house. The fire guys are very conscious to make sure that they're trying to protect as much as possible. Yes, they want to put out the fire as quickly as possible, but they want to protect all your equipment too. So having some salvage covers, this is where they're going to be stored. I noticed a trend that's going on here is that we don't have a whole lot of power tools. These guys are the grunts of the fire service. They're using all the manual tools, such as your halogens, your axes, your sledgehammers. They do have a couple power tools in this cabinet. They have the chainsaw, they have a K tool, they have a foam pack, but realistically, an engine company is designed to put the fires out. They're going into the burning buildings, they're doing all the manual labor. So unlike a rescue, unlike some of the towers that have all these fancy power tools and rescue tools, these guys are about using their hands and getting the job done. Moving on to the third and final cabinet on the passenger side, this cabinet is very similar to the engineer's compartment where they have a couple more couplers, they have some more spanner wrenches, connections to the hydrants, a couple different nozzles. But what's unique about this cabinet is they have their high-rise pack. These packs are designed to go into the buildings to connect the standpipes so you can fight you know, three, four stories high. That's what it's designed. But also they have their uh, safety cones, so they're gonna make sure that traffic is controlled. They have some caution tape. But if you take a look really on, on the inside here, this pole is just like that pole we saw on the front of the truck. This is their light for lighting up the scene. Very cool to put in this way. Keeps it safe when you're not using it, but it does a real good job. Now we're moving forward on the passenger side. I wanna hit this real quick. This is the other side intake uh, and outlets, but underneath this, I noticed that on both sides, they do have hose ready to be connected to the hydrant, right to the truck. Very convenient place to have that. And this is where the other cross lay lies. You can pull it out either side. Coming to the front of the truck, this is their third and final intake. But what's cool about this truck is this bumper has pre-connected trash line. This is inch and three quarters. Notice that it's the orange color. It's the same as what we had to that pump panel, so it's very easy to organize and know what's going on. They pull this out and get right to work. But as I stand back and look at the front of this, they have their federal queue, they have the sirens, they have their air horns, all to make sure that you're safe, make sure they're safe as they're going down the road. Thank you for watching another episode of Station Rigs. This is Minkwiss Fire Company number two of the Downingtown Fire Department. We appreciate you. Do us a favor, hit that subscribe, hit that notification. And if you're interested in helping these guys out, hit their website. They always can use your help, whether they're volunteering or by donation.